Hello and welcome to a very special video. Today we are going to go through one of the most common issues all Audi TT Mark III drivers have. And that is how to solve water coming in through the drains of the rear wing or the rear spoiler and damaging either the motor for the rear spoiler or license plate light which I have covered in the video before how to prevent or maybe delay it happening. So today we are going to go through all the tools you need and how you can do it to prevent or at least do everything you can not to let water come in and destroy all of those things. Let's go! But first before we start there is a disclaimer to be made. I did not come up myself with all those ideas. I wish I was that smart but those are all the experiences I have collected over the years of owning this car and um, through reading all of the forums, Facebook groups and many other so sources of valuable information. So please do carry that in mind. Firstly, of course, don't be discouraged that your car doesn't look like this one. If you're following my channel, you know that I'm rebuilding this one from the crash damage and um, yours might have wheels or even interior. Don't be discouraged, it's the same car, it's the same issue. First thing we need to do is, of course, check that we have all the tools that we need for this job. And I have prepared a couple of them and I have made sure that you can that those are no specialty tools that some workshop has. Those are the, uh, the things that I've used are the tools that you can readily buy in a hardware store or Amazon, for example. Starting with the Amazon, there is this little thing. Let me just try to quickly zoom in. There it is. It is a, I think, eight or 10 millimeter plastic brush on a steel cable and you need to make sure that this tip is really soft so it can go through corners and stuff like that because the drains on this boot are from soft rubber so you need to make sure not to poke through the rubber causing even more damage by a 8 to 10 millimeter brush and a soft one. If you don't have a soft brush, you can go ahead and take a piece of wire used in a housing installation for your lights, for your switches, whatever. And we need to zoom back in. Of course, yeah. Use, oh, not the damaged finger. <laughs> Use a pliers to bend the tip into a rounded corner. So for the same reason, so you don't poke through the rubber drains and then make a slight bend like this and then go through the drains that I'm going to show you in a minute with this thing. Last but not least, compressed air. I think you can buy a can for a dollar, two, euro, two, whatever, couple of things, uh, either Amazon, of course, or any other convenience store, Home Depot, Q&B, however you call it in UK. This thing really comes in handy and it is much more available than having an air compressor. So I think that would be the tools that we need. Now let's go through the steps on how you can do it. So the first and the foremost, we need to make sure that the key is with you or anywhere else in the car. We need to press the button once so we have ignition on and then there is a button over here right where your shift knob is at. You can press it once and listen for the noise. Once the noise is done this button is going to light up yellow and we will know that the spoiler is out. And this is how the, the button looks like. And if you've done everything right your spoiler is now up like this. Making some beautiful shots over here. This is where the drain is at on this side. This is right hand side. And you can see this hole over here is where the drain for the water is at. We are going to thank our working car for now. And we are going to go back to this one because it's much nicer and easier to see. 
this is where the other end of the drain is at on the side wall of the bumper cover or boot lid. This is where you should probably start with the work. And what we need to do is take either our brush and just gently push it in the drain hole and then slightly rotate it so, like I said, it doesn't poke through the hose. And then once you either see it come out through the hole that I've showed you earlier, or you know that it's through all the way, you can gen just gently pull it out and then repeat that a couple of times until you see that the passage is clear. The other thing you can do if you bought a bottle like I did <laughs> to play with, compressed air, and just shove the compressed air, shove the compressed air tube inside the drain and then just give it a nice, give it a nice boost. I'm really doing my best to try and give you the best angles possible. This is the hole, uh, the lower hole on the side of the boot lid, and you can see very clearly this over here going into this, this piece over here is the drain pipe, or however it's pronounced. The, this is the drain pipe that goes uh, from the base of the spoiler through here and over here, it goes out over here, yeah, that's the other hole. Please don't mind that you do need to do this on both sides of the car, they are exactly the same on both sides and they are going, they are routed the same way, so you need to flush just like we did with the compressed air and the brush on this side and on that side as well. And make sure your spoiler is up, which it isn't in this particular case because I don't have the button installed in this car, but I've showed you earlier on the other car how it needs to be. And that way you can blow the, the compressed air through the drain hose all the way out. There is one more thing that you can do to uh, do a step further in preventing the water from coming in and I've seen that, that somebody did it on the internet and they um, uninstalled the whole rear spoiler which I'm not going to do right now and then ju just went all around the mating surfaces of the spoiler with the boot cover or boot lid or trunk lid or you got the idea, this piece, and um, with a bit of silicone, silicone sealer, so they basically sealed the complete spoiler unit and the boot cover, so there is no way water can come in. So if you are really picky on doing this, you can do this extra step. So now I'm going to do exactly what I've told you uh, you should do, so we can see what the results are. Now look at just how much dirt I was able to extract from just those two drains. Whilst we are in here cleaning the drains already, you are probably wondering what am I doing uh, here. There is actually a drain on the bottom of the fuel refill thingy and it also gets super dirty and stuck so you should probably clean that thing as well. You can use same or different brush, probably a slightly thinner brush and then just gently go all the way through. And just in case you're super curious, this is the drain hose that go from the fuel refill cap all the way down here. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope I helped you keep your car as good as new for as long as possible, uh, leak free, drain free and without any license plate errors. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment and share with your friends who drive those cars as well so they also can prevent this thing from happening. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next one. Bye!